Hey guys, welcome back to Little Alchemist Helper. Mr. Anderson here with another Microsoft Excel video. Um, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, so sorry. I'm not going to be any gameplay. I did finally getting around to incorporate all the, the finalized game data into the deck optimizer. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Um, by the time this video gets uploaded, I'll update the forum post, I'll update um, a link in the description, and I'll update Discord links to all include this latest version. Um, what it all includes is a much, much larger area for you to build decks in. Um, and it includes the much, ooh, much asked for... Hold on, I need to double check. I didn't stop my recording. Okay. Um, the much asked for human onyx card. Um, it's in there. I don't know why it didn't get automatically populated in there. It's missing from some of the game coding. Um, so the other thing I wanted to do more than just tell you that this is here is show you how I build my arena decks. So these are the actual cards that I use. Um, you'll notice that on these bronze and silver combo cards that were automatically populated in there, um, I changed the quantities down to two. Now, I can make a third copy. I just don't like putting a third copy of anything in my Heroics deck, mainly because it... It makes... I feel like it's a waste of dust knowing that there's the potential that I'm going to get an Onyx version and then that card just it doesn't fit in the deck anymore because you can only have three copies of a card onyx counts towards that count so all of these have been reduced to two with the exception of rainbow and um, what's the other one that i dropped magic yeah i have multiple copies of those onyx cards so i can only use one at a time so i have all my cards in here that's step one in order to make a gigantic heroics deck um, there they all are. And then my next step is to just put copies of my gold and onyx cards in this deck area. Um, if you want, you can paste from this section right here, this ID section. Um, that's fine if you copy. Just make sure to do that when you do that. If you are going to do, go paste special and then do the values button. I'm not going to overwrite it because I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, do paste special and then values. That will that will save you a big headache. Um, here are my advanced controls. I have it in heroics mode. Um, I put the lowest combo worth counting down to 45. That's mostly just so that it considers some of the silver combo cards, like silver mixed with silver or silver mixed with bronze combos. Um, it even looks at them. And then you'll see I, I put the step value in at 3, even though that's what it calculated. That calculation might change as I start putting more cards in. And so I did want to hard lock that in at 3. I think from 45 to 60 is a pretty solid range. And that's, that's going to be this total stat value that it looks at. Um, and so I, that's what I'm happy with. I overwrote the fusion buff up to 125. You'll see that it calculated it to 100. But once um, once I actually put this deck all the way together, you'll see that that's going to be... It should be higher than 125 at the end. We'll check. And then I like glass cannons. I do... Um, even with the new heroics, with them using fused combo cards, your opponents using fused combo cards, I still I'm still a huge fan of the glass cannons. So 175 is actually lower than I used to set it, but I'm gonna go with 175, and then the defense buff goes to 25%. So those are the advanced controls, and then from here on out, I literally just trust the tool. So how many combo cards I use is I double the amount of onyx and silver um, and then subtract two so i have 55 right here onyx and silver so i am going to go all the way to 108 
that's that's where I will be stopping. So we will just we'll start putting stuff in. Ooh, with the recorder, that is slow. Is it even recalculating? Sword just that good? Hold on. Sword might just be that good. There's the first sword. There's the second sword. Okay, I have to go a little bit slower. I'm probably going to speed up the footage. So if I sound funny, that's, that's why. Yay, frequency modulation. So I am just going to punch all of these in. It will probably go by in just a blip for you guys. It's going to take me a little bit longer. Just so you guys know, I'm on an iPhone 6S, I think. So it's not like my technology is super up to par. And with the operating system recording and me running this process, it's a little bit slow. So I apologize for the slowness. I'm going to keep talking just, just because I'm curious what my voice is going to sound all sped up like. I really, I really hope that the Apple recorder does better than the old recorder that I was using. Um, if you guys remember the first video that I tried to make about this optimizer, it took forever to come out. And that's because this is so processor intensive on your phone, it just kept crashing the recording. But I was using a third party recorder because Apple didn't have a screen recorder at the time. So hopefully, this goes smoother. But I'm gonna double check real quick. Sweet. I'm still recording. That's good. So what it's actually doing is it's recalculating for every new card that gets added. So I could go over here and just like copy paste the big blocks at a time, um, but it doesn't recalculate in between each card. Is it really going to make a difference? No, probably not. Well, I get those annoying number two, like, I'll show you. See, I like that says, this is Ash number two, and number two doesn't technically break it if you paste it in there, but it's definitely, it confuses it a little bit. It won't highlight it correctly because it, it will have it as extra characters. See there, I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed water instead of wings, but wings was still right there, so it's not like paramount that you get them in perfect order. Um, but just, just the little things, the little things that I, I like to see. I like to see them all highlighted. Mostly just so that I know that I didn't miss anything. There's the first golem. That's kind of surprising. That's probably because I have it so attack heavy. Golem's a pretty decent card. It used to be terrible, but then they kept backfilling combos and backfilling combos and backfilling combos, and that's really about that. I'm dead. Radiation, oh, that's good. These next cards are just going to bump up Turkey Day higher and higher because they all come to a Turkey Day. I'm running the list out? How am I running the list out? That's a bug I'm going to need to fix. We'll see if it... No, it's just... So when I expanded it, I didn't expand the range that the list looks at. So that's why I'm getting this glitch. Um, but by the time that this video gets uploaded, that will be fixed. So remember what I said about you can just copy and paste over here? We're going to do that. So we're going to take this block right here. We're going to copy that. We'll scroll over. And then just like before, we will paste special and values. Okay. So we're going to I'm neurotic and this bothers me. I'm going to take off. Mm, and I just break it. I mean, I just broken it. Uh-oh. Get out of the keyboard. Okay, perfect. 108 cards. That's a lot. Okay, so the last thing that I do is I just grab all 108 cards with that counter right there. I copy that over and I make a new tab and paste them in. I'm going to redo that. Just it looks like it put the values there. Okay, so then I lost the highlight. That's too bad. Rehighlight them. See this A and the pencil on the top? I Hopefully I'm making it dark by holding my finger there. There's an A with a pencil kind of over it. You get this, and you can go sort and filter. And, and just do sort descending. Nope, oh, we're going to have to do... Show filter buttons. Will that let me do it? Z to Z. It's a silly game. Okay. 
So this is the rank. And this is the card. And we're going to turn this filter off. And we, with named headers, Excel will do what I want it to do. Once I already highlight that correctly, I'll show the filter buttons. And now we can sort this A to Z. So now what we have is a complete list of what cards in alphabetical order and with what their rank is relatively. Um, the, the gold and the onyx cards are going to be all, they're out of whack with their order because I just pasted them in because I, I want, knew I wanted to use all of them. Um, but all of the silver and the bronze cards, they will be, they will show their rank. So like Ash is 71st and 91st, um, which actually all of those are 55 lower. You know, the number one card is going to be number 56 because 1 through 55 were taken up by the ones that I just pasted in there. Um, and we can go back to the advanced controls. Yeah, see, the fusion buff actually went all the way up to 154. Lowest combo worth counting surprisingly didn't change that much. And so the step value didn't change either. But I just like to lock those in just so I know that they're not shifting in the background. Um, and then you can see that some of, you know, like, time, time didn't even make it because time's a garbage combo card, gold combo card. I'm not going to take it out. Um, is that the, yeah, that's the unfused version. The fused, the fused one that I have is up there somewhere. But, uh, that's that's how I do it. Uh, these are the cards that didn't make the cut. Like Water Serpent, I don't even use one copy of. Werewolf, don't even use one copy of. Angel, um, surprisingly, I know in the last video I said you'll probably always use it. With, with the extra gold combo cards that I get, it bumps it out. Um, Angel's one that does pretty well with the the free 10, the free 10 gold combo cards, but not that great with a lot of the other ones. But, no, oh, and then Fairy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty low. Fairy and Holy Water. There's the last of the ones that didn't make the cut for even one copy. So, that goes to show it's not worth just literally adding everything. Um, but, I'm getting to the point where it feels like I'm just adding everything. You know, that's that's not counting 108 cards, not counting any of my fused final forms or the filler cards I use to block. But that's how I do it. Um, I've been asked that question a couple of times. So if you're still with me on this video, I greatly appreciate it. Um, sorry, it's probably going to come out late because anytime I do anything with Excel, editing is a nightmare. But hopefully this will this will work out and I go really appreciate your guys's support for this channel um, our sub count is going up still so if you're worried that the game is dying if this channel is any indication of things you know even with going through the holidays and both me and tap dog being pretty inconsistent with our hectic holiday family schedule and getting stuff uploaded our sub subscriber count is still going up there's still people out there wanting to to learn about the game which tells me there's still people out there starting the game off and you know really getting into the game so don't think it's dying i i certainly don't think this game is dying but i keep i keep seeing it on the forum and i know it's not true so thanks again um, and we will see you again with another video bye